Hey everybody, Jason here. For RPG a day 2019, day number, got my handy dandy chart here I keep in my truck. Uh, day number 16, dream is the prompt for day number 16. Well, uh, gosh, uh, I don't even know where to start with that one. Uh, I don't dream very often, and if I do, I don't really remember them. I actually, uh, <sighs> see, I'm tired. I'm always tired. I'm always tired. I wear a BiPAP machine when I sleep because I have sleep apnea. So I, I, it's not often that, I, that I'm really in a deep enough sleep to, to dream, I think, um, or remember it. But once in a while I'll dream and remember it. Um, very, 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 very <clears throat> rarely do I ever dream about things entertaining as far as like D&D &D or movies or anything like that. But um, <clears throat> how do I mash up dream into uh, RPG? Uh, how would you run a game? <clears throat> you know, actually... <sighs> excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> We're in a minute and a half in and I'm finally going to get to it. <clears throat> so, um, how would you run a game where the scenario takes place in someone else's dream? Like... The characters are real, and they see that mirror back there jiggling. Isn't that weird? Maybe this is a dream. Um, that's really weird. So anyway, um, so the characters are real, uh, and the story takes place um, in what they think is the real, in game terms, real world, but. Say if a character dies in the dream, you know, they are uh, out of the game like they would have, like, say they would have died. <sighs> Excuse me. In the real world, the game world. But how would you deal with a character dying or things happening in the, in the game and then it being like... It, it, nothing, none of it actually really happened because uh, where they're at in the story that, that, that took place was a dream. Um, someone else's dream, not necessarily their own. Maybe even their own, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> how would you guys, uh, comment below, how would you guys do that? How would you run something where, you know, what they do in the, in the dream or in the adventure that they don't know is a dream? That's the whole, the whole point. They don't know it's a dream. Every, as far as they know, everything is real. Um, but all the consequences of being in that dream, do some of them apply to the real world when they come, come out of the dream? Um, does none of it apply and they wake up wherever they last fell asleep at the home in their own bed and uh, stuff like that? Or if they die in their dream, do they die for real? Like, you know, like Nightmare on Elm Street or something. Like, how would all that work? Um, that's an interesting subject for me. Because uh, I've thought about this before, and my assumption, and I guess it could apply any way you want since it's a, it's a, a fantasy uh, topic, I guess, uh, an unrealistic topic, but in my assumption, it was if something happened in your dream, uh, it, it did not happen in the real world. Like, say you got um, you know, a fight and you got your chest cut open a little bit like with a knife or a sword or something and you got this bad wound and you woke up would that translate in the real world you, you have this wound when you wake up or you know if you died in the dream did you die in real life things like that my assumption was whatever happened in the dream stays in the dream if you win a million bucks in the dream you don't wake up and have the money with you if you get your arm cut off in the dream you wake up you still got your arm uh, if you die in the dream you know, you wake up and you're still alive 
and then the big reveal it wouldn't be as soon as the character dies you wouldn't tell such and such character either privately like with a little note passed to the table like oh you died but guess what your character really wakes up you would probably wait till the uh, end of the story uh, till the story is complete whether it be like one session or whatever um, and then re make that the big reveal at the end like it was all a dream the risk I, I think maybe of, of doing that is anything you've accomplished anything you failed um, anything that you've done that would that would you know have any sort of weight behind it is nullified you know you, you don't have any uh, consequence I guess for your actions whether good or bad and it seems like you almost take away some of the power <clears throat> that the players have if you do that so what's the uh, uh, what's the trade-off where's the, the the compromise you know what do you do to make the player seem like oh it was just a dream because that's what I think I hate in movies where it's like something happens and either you realize right away like this has to be a dream sequence or something because for one this character wouldn't die so early into uh, a movie or something or a book which in role playing that's a little more easily justified because anything can happen um, in a game and no character is guaranteed to live um, past a certain point or whatever <clears throat> but you know at the end, you're like, oh, such and such a character went through all these trials and uh, all these obstacles in their life and this and that, and then they woke up again, and then it was just a dream, so it was all kind of for nothing. Who fucking cares, you know? So that's one thing, but um, yeah, I, I, I've had some ideas for dream-type adventures, and um, that's kind of been a stumbling block, I suppose, for, for how it would play out at the end. And I know this is, again, another rambling video, um, but if you have some thoughts on that, you know, have any of you guys ever run adventures that take place in dreams? Or how would you t have adventures take place in dreams? Like, what are some ideas you might have to, to run dream adventures? Um, would, a would it be like the Matrix, where a character thinks they can do something, and all of a sudden they can kind of do it, but they don't really know why they can do it or how they can do it? They might just think that there is some sort of divine intervention going on, or, uh, you know, maybe something else. I, I don't know. Magic, I don't know. But um, anyway, if you have some ideas and thoughts on that, uh, leave them down below and let me know what you think. Um, that was a really tough one, and I'm sorry that I rambled about that, because that, that was a tough prompt. That was a tough word for today. Um, hopefully the next... Uh, word prompt is a little easier um, if you can see my Rick and Morty shirt in two or three videos in a row you'll know that I'm recording these oh god on this shaky uh, road um, a day or two ahead of time so hope you guys are enjoying RPG a day 2019 and we will see you later